giant cedar trees these huge you can tell the cedars from these the leaves the shape of the leaves the way they fall there quite beautiful beautiful polypore The wolves around here, they don't half like to leave their uh, scent. Word is an old man named McQueen of Findhorn killed the last wolf in Moray Shire, Scotland, in 1743. Beautiful. Very cold, high winds coming later on tonight. So I'll put the back down. The wind's coming through here at the moment, but it's usually coming down the valley. So we'll see how that goes. I may need to change the configuration at some point. But uh, everything is nice and sweet, barring this rock here that I'm gonna have to dig out. All right, Badge. So uh, I'm gonna have to make a little digging stick dig this out. There's many different configurations that you can have with a tarp. I'm going to have this tonight. Uh, it'll keep me uh, dry. Instead of having the hammock coming across, I'm going to put the hammock on the floor and I've got a nice, a reasonable uh, air-filled mattress. So that sleeping bag should be sorry. With the wind's blowing in this way at the moment, and uh, I may need to change around. I may need to revert back to the A frame, yeah? So let's get this sorted. That'll do. Leave it out there. Happy days. I can go towards the fire. Ooh. Another little rock there, but uh, that's not going to be too much of a problem. So that's about 30. Fahrenheit. So probably about four degrees at the moment. As it's showing there. It's going to drop some for sure. After walking many, many miles for about three hours, it's time for a brew and uh, time to utilize this new cooker. So it all folds out like so. And you have these little end bits there that you fold out. It's that cold at this moment in time, my fingers have gone numb. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's all in sync, let's say. Symmetrical, should I say. That you turn left to actually uh, get let the gas through the valve at the bottom. And then right to turn it off. And as you turn it left there, you can control the size of the flame. 
and then to pack it all away you press all them in swing the arms round then you turn this round and that neatly fits under there and you put it in this little container put the lid on and there you go weighs nothing so I'll get a fire going later on for uh, the more uh, for heat, warmth and for some decent food uh, but for now there's no point putting a fire on when I can uh, just use this little cooker to make a brew so first things first let's get it working it's a screw on buy yourself a little butane or propane mix cartridge like that I only need a small one because I only ever use these for making a cup of coffee a chalky coffee or uh, some soup so you turn it on there it's got a little ignition there put the coffee in straight away. Chalky coffee consists of two spoonfuls of your normal granulated coffee and one hot chocolate. Give it a good stir. Lid on. And wait for the magic to happen. It's unusual, isn't it? That is coral fungi. That is edible. You have noticed them flowering. No? No. Flowers coming up there. Hmm. Nice, aren't they, the black ones? Mm. See so if we can reach that. Mmm. <sighs> nice. He's a biler. It's looking good that. Now it's the uh, taste time. It's <laughs> alright. <laughs> <laughs> Honest opinion of one man. Nice that. It's alright isn't it? Yeah, good. Got the cameras on there. <laughs> no, no, you're right. So this guys is the chocolate coffee. Deluxe. Ooh. Temperature's dropping even more. Let's get cracking. Let's give that a quick. That should be better. Yeah, so the tips of my fingers are absolutely numb. Even though the sun is out, you can see the sun shining upon me. The temperature is low and dipping fast. So, it's making it a little bit more difficult to work. But, um, this is why I'm gonna have to get a move on. I'm gonna tie the back of the uh, tarp up now to give me a bit more space underneath there and then probably pull the front over um, at some point or I might just leave it hanging over the back. We will see. I have to improvise on this one today. There she blows Badgie, this is what we'll be sleeping on tonight. That, and I've got a little inflatable mattress. Weighing 506 grams, 177 centimetres in uh, length, six centimetres thick, and it's 48 centimetres in width. So that's more than enough for me. Like a ripstop material. Breathe into there. 
that plugs the hole. Let's see how it works, eh? Tonight, it's going to be, I should imagine, quite a bit below zero because we've got clear skies, we've got a brisk northwesterly wind or north wind, it's coming down from the, uh, the Arctic around Scandinavia and all stuff and Norway and places like that so it's going to, it's blowing down and it's very, very cold. So I may put the the mattress inside the bag because that will keep me warm from the ground and it will have that air layer there inside the bag and then you've got the layer on top so as long as there's air trapped inside then that will keep you warm that may be the setup for tonight I think Badgie wants to get in there now don't you Badge? Did you cold girl? Get out of here. Told you no tongues. Come on, you lie down. Lie down there. Good girl. There's one my wee nose can stick out. Hey, Badgie. Badgie, it's home sweet home for the night. Ah, sweet darling. You can be my hot water bottle. Keep my little tootsies warm. In the winter months, soon, night soon comes. As you can see there, over the hill, the sun's going down and the moon will be up soon. Let me take you on a little wonder. And give you a bit of a an idea of the type of conditions and where we're at. It is windy and that wind brings with it a chill. one million seven hundred thousand years ago to make fire and use it in a way that revolutionized our evolution as a species. Fire protects us from the weather. It helps our ancestors move to different parts of the world in colder climates, protecting us from harsh winters and the many predators out there who like to prey. Bears, dingoes, lions, tigers, and keep the wolf from the door. Fire helped us to think about the concept of deferred gratification and helped us store our grain, protecting it from mold. We traded, metaphorically speaking, our intestines for brain, which helped us move away from the rest of the apes, change our diet, form a larger brain, become stronger, and later make tools from the fire.
Here's an example of how to conceptualise just how important making fire is to our species. Chimpanzees eat leaves for 8 hours per day to sustain their energy levels. We on the other hand have far more time to be creative. Fire was used to help us form new tools for hunting, trapping and cutting meat. Our ancestors used fire to clear the land, make it more fertile and easier for hunting. We developed socially. People would be given certain roles, fire making, clearing the land or hunting. Fire was another way of exchanging goods by offering warmth and security, safe drinking water and cooking. This increased the amount of social interactions. Evidence of large hearths would indicate that the majority of people would sit round the fire, spending time socialising about the things that they'd learnt that day, sharing new skills, developing language. Fire awakened us, changed our biorhythms and helped us to gain strength, enabling us to successfully adapt to our environment. One man has made fire. His name was Mickey. The fire master. Not easy in this wind though. At all. Yeah. Well, a new knife works. Yeah. It's done the job, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, never think you're the master. Never be overconfident. As you can see with my setup here, it's down to the ground. But what would an expert do in this type of situation? Using his noggin, an expert might just do something like this. Put the leaves at the bottom there for extra uh, insulation protection from the wind so Mickey's just reminding me of what really I should be doing in this type of circumstance where the temperature is going to be dropping somewhat tonight and uh, the wind well it seems to be calming down a little bit now but it's supposed to be windy later on so the simple things in life are free and matter You may find yourself in a no leaf situation in your location so I've moved here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my Bergen cover I'm going to fill that up and then transport it over to where the tarp is Yeah you can have these quick The leaves are useful for um, if I want a pillar tonight it'll be uh, useful for that but also if, uh, if it's chilly you can stuff them in your clothes, you can stuff them around you, around your camp, uh, inside your sleeping bag. You can also use them as a mattress. Um, so if you make yourself a, a bed, wooden bed, which I'll probably do in one of the uh, my next upcoming videos, um, you can lay logs across the beams and then um, you can use spruce boughs, but leaves are, uh, Make it nice and comfy. Badgie, are you knocking the camera? Go on, go and get this stick. Go and get the stick. This girl is trying me today. Go on, she loves it. She loves it out here. Go on, get out of it. Watch this. Ready, go. Right guys, let's get on with the job, eh? We are fallible, aren't we? We're all fallible. Collecting leaves in this manner is less time consuming and uh, saves on energy. Collect a few more and then we're done. All in preparation for the windy night.
not too bad the temperature now, I'm not sure what it is, but I don't feel, I've got to say I don't feel cold. Yeah, it's still four degrees, or 40 Fahrenheit. She loves any food, this girl, any food. I'm going to let them logs burn down to some nice fine coals. We've got a lovely steak on the go there. And we've got the, the rice, quinoa. Oh yes. This is just for, this is just a start guys. Nicky's got a pot there. What, what's going in this pot Nicky? Uh, pasta sauce. Some veggie sauce. Veggie sauce. Nice Lovely. With pork chops. Beautiful. He's not looking too healthy at the moment, but uh, it'll do. Uh, well, there's peppers in it. There's tomatoes. There's quinoa. There's. Uh, different types of rice in there, I'm going to shine on that, yeah, so we've already had steak for uh, starters and um, we've currently got, just over yonder, some pork chops on the fire, so we're, uh, we're eating like kings. Well we've just got the fire going over there, over yonder, as you can see, I'm now tucked away in my sleeping bag and I've got to say it's nice and uh, satisfying, comfy, warm and it's definitely below zero out there. Boy oh boy can you feel it with the wind. Mickey's just warming his feet next to the fire still. And uh, it's now time for Bobby's guys, so I will see you in the morning. By the power of Grayskull. We'll get it, guys. Morning. Well, the thermal light stood up to time and uh, cautionary advice this is not a swimming aid. <laughs> not to be used in water. Keep away from fire. I suppose the only problem is once you've positioned it in your sleeping bag, uh, if you put it inside your sleeping bag then that's it you can't maneuver your sleeping bag around and sometimes i like to do that depending on which side i'm lying um, so if you have it underneath your sleeping bag that might be better and um, probably something i do more in the summertime but last night was pretty bitterly cold so i stuck it on the inside but it wasn't too bad it wasn't too much of an inconvenience uh, now it's time for breakfast and a brew and Maybe a little bit of a mooch. Yep, fair bit of resin there, isn't there? Dig a hole next time. I've got the eggs, guys. So, there's no need to uh, start a fire now. We won't be here for long, much longer anyway. So, we're cooking on gas.
It's magic. Shazam. Magic bash. Shadithor. Magic. Magic bash. And we get a fire going. With the gas. Two minutes thirty. Mickey's got a boil on there. This, by the way, is my new frying pan. Which I can talk more about. And maybe a review in the future. I want to test it out first, see how non-stick it is. We've got nothing in there, no butter or anything. The, uh, the fat from the chorizo should add a little bit of uh, oil to it, so yeah, see how this frying pan works. With these titanium uh, pans, they start to heat up real quick because they're only thin. They can burn. Yeah, that's charring. So it's cooking too quick. Can we turn this yeah, down? <coughs> yeah, is it that there? there you go. Yeah. It's like a spaghetti and a meatball. <laughs> Just like it. It's like spaghetti and meatball. Eh? Like oh, Chiristo, mama used to make. Chorizo and prawn Chinese noodles. <laughs> yeah. It's good for you, you know? <laughs> what, should we, what should we say? Should we go for that? I think it looks alright, eh? I think it looks alright enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The noodles are done, aren't they? Enough, so. That'll do two lofty men. We're at 10, 15k walk back. We can't, we yeah, count the meatballs? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it's like being at home. <laughs> Do we count the meatballs? Tins of spaghetti and sausage. I said, go like that to the kids. I said, yeah, you always count how many sausage you've got. I said, but nobody ever counts the beans, do they? <laughs> what I noticed, and luckily enough, we're not in the vicinity. We're, we're fairly all right here. These, all these trees are all alive. That one over there, or there's two over there, two trees. So them two babies yeah. are dead. So all these trees behind, they're all alive. And they're fairly, uh, it's fairly dense, so the wind ain't gonna blow them down. We checked that out before we came along and set up camp. So thanks for joining us guys, uh, we've had some fun, I hope you've had some fun watching. We're about to pack away now, we haven't started yet, but uh, this is what it's about isn't it, really, being out in nature, being at one with nature, being away from the hustle and bustle of life where we're always thinking or doing things. Here you can switch off and just attune to the trees, the river, the animals and relax. So stay tuned guys for the next episode and uh, thanks for watching. Really enjoyed it and I hope you guys have as well. Possibly learnt something from this experience but uh, for us it was just a, a, about getting out, having a bit of time to chill out, relax. Uh, be at one with nature and um, have a bit of space from the, the busy world out there. It's one of the reasons why we like doing it, getting out and about and feeling free in Mother Nature. So I'll see you on the next one guys. You take care of yourselves and uh, stay tuned for the next one which will be coming soon. Please like, subscribe, sub bell and all them wonderful things. And uh, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from him. <laughs> <laughs> and and we'll, we'll see you on the, uh, on the next Huck Finn. Take care. Look after yourselves. Bye.